So guys, I had a video about Ethernet cables planned today because Ethernet cables are cool and you guys wanted it in the Discord server. So that was the official video I had planned for today, but unfortunately, this is the sound that woke me up at 3 a.m. And as some of you may know, that is the sound of a dying hard drive. And as you can probably tell, I have quite a few. Now, because these are hard drives, usually when they fail, it's not your fault. They're just mechanical, and the more mechanical parts in a drive, the easier it is for it to fail, which is why I'm trying to switch to SSDs. But unfortunately, this was no ordinary drive. This drive was part of my Unraid array. So I need to do everything I possibly can to recover it because there was hundreds of gigabytes on that array that I need to get back now. So, as some of you may know, this is my NAS. It's a tiny little thing, but the parts that are inside it are actually much more powerful than this little thing might suggest. This thing is packing an Intel Core i7 with 16 gigs of RAM. Now that i7 is only a fourth gen, but this is more than enough to power a Minecraft server, a Plex server, and run all my Samba shares. So this thing has been my little cloud and my lifesaver for the past year or so, or maybe even longer actually. And finally, one of the drives failed. Now, I don't know what it is about these little cases Cases, but I just absolutely love building inside them. So this little case will be down in the description below in case you guys like it. I don't know what it is. It's just so cool the way a powerful machine can fit in your hand. I'm going to show you the back now, guys, because the second I heard the drive was failing, I powered this entire thing off, uh, took it down and unplugged all the other drives that weren't failing because we are going to attempt to clone this drive here, which is the one that's failing. Please do remember that you don't actually need a secondary hard drive to back up your data. Clonezilla also allows you to back up your data into an image. And then when you do have a secondary drive, you can always use that image and restore it onto the hard drive, which is absolutely great. It's my only non-Western digital drive in this array, which is interesting. This is a HGST drive. It's a one terabyte drive. They're all one terabyte drives. And as you can see, they're all nicely packed in the back here. So that's the only one that's plugged in right now. And we are going to take a donor drive Whoops, because I'm left with two donor drives. I actually keep all my data on these drives. And um, as you can see, videos, games, videos too. And I slide them into this external hard drive cage whenever I want to use them. It's probably the worst possible way to keep your data. So if uh, anybody wants to make me a uh, solid state NAS, uh, I'm, I'm going to wink a few times to, uh, to, get, to get that message across because uh, I think we all know who I'm talking about. Let's be honest, that's never going to happen. So uh, today we are going to switch it out for this Toshiba drive right here. It's a slim little drive and it is also one terabyte. So we should be good to clone my failing HGST drive onto this little Toshiba drive. So I'm just going to go ahead and steal one of these cables here and plug the Toshiba one in just like so, then put it in there and let's power this thing on and see whether those two drives are even recognized. Because sometimes when a drive fails, it fails so badly that it's not even going to be recognized by the system anymore. And at that point, your only option is really a data recovery lab and those cost lots and lots of money. So I'm just going to hope that it shows up on the list here. Yes, it's still showing up. HGST, it's still on the list. I'm going to power this off as fast as I can. Normally the case you would take when you hear a hard drive clicking is you'd either back up your data as fast as you possibly can or power the thing off and bring it to a professional. Now, I don't classify myself as a professional, but I do know what I'm doing. So therefore, I powered the thing off and I waited until today morning to show you guys exactly how to clone your drive onto a working one if your drive starts failing. So really quickly, before we go on to the important part, you guys are absolutely insane the number of people subscribed watching these videos now all the way up to 13.6 percent so if you guys like these videos if you guys like tech and you're part of that 86.4 percent of people that aren't yet subscribed i upload tech videos daily and vr videos on mondays and fridays so if that floats your boat make sure to slam that subscribe button with your forehead ding that notification bell become part of the 360p gang follow me on my social media here and here because i want to hear what you guys want to see and let's move on to the video i feel like i keep getting faster every time i do that and that's great because i hate wasting your guys's time with that but it's a stat nobody watches until the end so unfortunately i have to do it. So there's two things that you will need for today's video because first we're actually going to back up the data and after that we are going to clone the drive. If you want to skip to any one of those parts feel free to do so but I'm going to be doing both because the data on this is really important. First we're going to download Clonezilla. What you want to do is you want to click on stable Choose AMD64 because I assume nobody has a 32-bit processor. Change the zip to an ISO and click download. That is going to download the ISO we will need 
to your computer. So now that the ISO is downloading, we will also need Ubuntu, which as some of you may know, is a Linux system. And I prefer using Linux for recovery instead of Windows because Windows initializes the drives before you even go into the system, meaning it's searching the drives and it's trying to initialize them. And if it can't, things could go wrong and I don't want that. I want a software that will leave the drives alone until I want to access. So you want to go onto the Ubuntu page, click here, and it should start downloading. Another software you will need is Belena Etcher. I will have that down in the description below if you don't already have it installed. It's a very popular software for flashing USB drives. You want to click flash from file, select your Clonezilla ISO, plug in a USB stick. For me, I'm going to plug in this eight gigabyte one and then click flash. While that is flashing, I'm going to get the mug sip in for you guys because I know you guys desperately want it. You guys always ask for this, so. There you go. Then once that's flashed, you want to download a software called Rufus, also down in the description below. Then you want to plug in a second drive, or maybe you just want to do this part, then plug in your first drive, select an ISO. For this one, it's going to be the Ubuntu ISO. Plug in your drive and click start. Now, once those two are flashed, we can move on to the next steps. Okay. So now you can unplug your USB stick, or if you're using the computer that you were flashing the USB stick on, you can just leave it inside. Point is, we need to boot from this USB stick, and you need to boot it on a machine that that failing drive is on. Da -da 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 -da. So now I am going to do my best to show you guys exactly what you need to do. So what we are going to do now is we are going to power on my NAS right here, and we are going to spam F12. And we are spamming F12, because F12 will get us into the boot menu, to allow us to select that USB stick that we just flashed with Ubuntu. Well, that said no keyboard detected, that's no fun. Now, this computer doesn't always allow me to do F12, so I'm actually going to start spamming F2 to enter the UEFI BIOS. And right here, you can select your SanDisk disk or whatever you flashed it onto. So before we even jump into Clonezilla, what I have done is I have booted into Ubuntu. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to transfer all the data onto one of my external drives here because I don't want anything to possibly go wrong with this data. It's way too important. Again, using Linux is always a better option here than using Windows because Windows can do weird things to your drives. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab all of these folders except these two because they are locked. And I am going to copy them right to my backups drive, just like that. So all that is going to get copied and I will be right back to you guys once this is done. Something is telling me this might take a while. So once your data is done backing up, you wanna shut down, plug in the USB drive with Clonezilla, go back into the boot menu and select it. You should get this screen. Clonezilla Live, that's what we are going to go for. So I'm going to press enter and we are now booting into Clonezilla Live ISO. Okay, so here we are going to select English. Well, yeah, keep the default keyboard layout. And okay, start Clonezilla. And we are going to select the second one because you can also make an image of the disk that you are going to be copying. You do not actually need to be cloning this to a second drive. You can make an image and flash it onto another drive later, but we are going to work straight device to device because I do need to replace that drive. And we are going to go beginner mode, disk to disk. That's what we are going to do. Disk number two, it shows up down there that we have two drives, which means my HDSD is still being seen. Uh, choose the local disk as source. We want to clone from the HDST. Choose the local disk as target. All data on this drive will be lost. Okay, so yeah, that's pretty standard. All your things will be formatted. So we're gonna choose the Toshiba here and we are going to skip disk checking because this drive is failing, so I don't want it to not clone because the drive is broken. The action to perform when everything is finished, choose reboot, shut down when everything is finished. Okay, press enter to continue. And now it's going to start cloning your drive right down here. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, it's basically asking you, do you want to format the drive? Are you sure you want to format the drive? Let me ask you again, it's making sure. I'm gonna click yes. So after that, this is what you are going to get. And the cloning process is going to begin. So of course I will not make you guys sit through this because this is going to take an absolutely long ass time. And because computers don't know how to count, that time is going up instead of going down. So 
I think this is where we're going to end the video, and if you guys want to know if this was successful, I will let you know in the Discord server. Okay, you guys, so now that I have this cloning and I have it backed up onto my backup drive using Ubuntu, I feel much safer about my data. Now, this is going to take a very long time, and because the hard drive is damaged, the read speed has gone down even more, which means that this is probably going to take six hours. So I'm not going to keep you guys waiting here, but I will let you know down in the pinned comment on whether this was successful or not. Again, if you guys don't feel comfortable doing something like this, and your hard drive is clicking a lot, because this one has already clicked multiple times while I was doing the backup process, do make sure to bring it to a professional. Like, I work in a computer shop, and we do things like this there all the time, and we have the equipment we need there to make sure that that drive stays safe during that backup process. Now, this here is pretty safe. I am pretty confident that this is going to work. It's going to take an extremely long time, but I'm okay with that because the NAS will be running 24 seven anyway. It's just my shares are offline for now. So hopefully I have a backup of my YouTube materials somewhere. But uh, yeah, that is going to be it. Okay. Hey, look. One of those was an SSD. You stay there. That is going to be it for today's video. I really hope I helped you guys out. If you guys have a failing drive, it isn't a joke, especially if you have important data on it. I know how hard it can be to lose all your data. Windows updates. So trust me, the second your drive starts clicking or making weird noises, do back it up. Do make a clone of it to an image or to another drive if you have a spare from maybe like an old laptop or something. Because once that drive starts clicking, it's only a matter of time for it to actually fail. So don't leave it until later on, because chances are it might be too late. So once again, guys, I really hope you liked this video. If you're not yet subscribed and you like tech videos, I upload tech videos daily and VR videos on Mondays and Fridays. If you guys want to become part of this community, I would love to have you. Make sure to slam that subscribe button with your forehead, ding my notification bell, become part of the 360p gang, follow me on my social media here and here, because I really enjoy hearing what future videos you guys want to see. Join us on Discord, where very soon I will be doing a Discord Nitro Classic giveaway, so if you you guys are on the discord you have a chance to to get that i'll just be posting codes randomly so you better be online <laughs> And join us on Reddit where I want to see you guys posting spicy memes because I want to cover those in a future video so that we can all have a great laugh. Once again, if you guys aren't yet subscribed and you want to be notified of future videos coming up daily, make sure to slam that subscribe button, ding my bell, and see you again in the next one. Peace.